Hello, my name is Dr. Osman Mianji. I'm a child neurologist by profession. I'm the chairman of CAWE, which stands for Kenya Association for the Welfare of People with Epilepsy. Uh, I'm going to talk about the, the management of epilepsy uh, in Kenya, in the community, and the experience that Kawe has had at this first African Epilepsy Congress in Nairobi. The Kawe was founded in 1982 by a mother of a child with epilepsy. And she felt sorry for many needy children who could not access uh, good treatment from the uh, public service because most of the basic drugs for treatment of epilepsy was not available. We have a vision, mission, uh, statements and goals, but the, our main uh, objective is to develop a sustainable, comprehensive and integrated epilepsy program that is affordable and accessible to people suffering from epilepsy in Kenya. We have developed over the years three major programs. One is education, awareness, and training, uh, which involves uh, creating awareness and educating the public. And then we like to train um, health caregivers uh, of all levels, um, from uh, doctors, clinical officers, right down to the community nurse uh, at the dispensary. Then we also would like to provide uh, medical support and clinic support, which means that we will, will run uh, special epilepsy clinics where we can provide uh, care for people with epilepsy. And the last one is to lobby and advoc for advocacy of uh, people who suffer with epilepsy and uh, their families. Our clinics, in the, within our clinics, we have shown that uh, epilepsy can be treated quite well with just basic drugs. And uh, from the pie chart, it is quite clear that we are using uh, mainly very cheap basic drugs, phenobarbitone, phenytoin, carbamazepine, and uh, sodium valproate. Uh, the cheapest drugs are phenytoin and phenytoin, uh, phenytoin and phenobarbitone. Uh, carbamazepine and, uh, and sodium valproate, we get f uh, uh, generics at a very uh, reduced cost, much less than the market prices. And we have already shown that 84% of the patients can be um, controlled on just one single drug. Uh, only few patients are taking two drugs or three drugs. During our training program, just to show an example of what we have achieved so far in 2011 alone, we have trained many uh, medical personnel and uh, community health workers and even local teachers about epilepsy. Uh, we, the figures are shown on the slide. Regarding the awareness creation, which is a very important uh, uh, part of our, our, our mission, is to create awareness and to educate people to understand epilepsy. The biggest problem of, uh, with epilepsy is that it carries a, a huge social stigma and negative feelings about epilepsy. So we need to clear that ignorance by educating people. Now, the, uh, creating uh, awareness creation activities, as you can see, we have had many sessions and we have reached 
many people of different uh, uh, stations and different types of people as shown on the slide. And through the mass media, we have been able to reach almost one million people. Uh, we have also distributed a lot of uh, information material in the form of leaflets, brochures, and uh, booklets, posters, etc. And just in 2011 alone, we reached 800,000 people by this distribution. And I think this is very helpful for educating people to reduce this ignorance and by reducing ignorance about the disease, uh, we hope to reduce this pr big, biggest problem of s social stigma, where uh, the society rejects people with epilepsy. Our medical uh, support program, uh, we run three different clinics in Nairobi. And we have about 12,000 patients who are registered with us, and more than 4,000 uh, patients are actively being followed up by us. And, uh, and, and we see uh, quite a number of patients as shown on the slide. Uh, there is uh, some cost sharing because uh, we sell some of our drugs at, uh, at a at a much, much reduced price, which is almost uh, a fifth of what you, the price is in the mar open market. We do not charge any consultation fees or any other fees. Uh, but if the patients are poor, then at least 40% of these patients are provided free drugs. Overall, over the last many years, our achievements are now summarized here in this slide. Uh, firstly, over the last few years, the Ministry of Health has now um, recognized our work and now is supporting our activities uh, by uh, releasing and their staff from the clinics right from the grassroots uh, to attend our training programs. And they have recognized uh, epilepsy as a, a disease to be reported, so they have included it in, in its morbidity sheet, as we refer to. And the idea of training people is to improve the knowledge. These are caregivers, the health caregivers, to improve the knowledge so that give better care to patients with epilepsy, and they should not uh, feel afraid of treating them. Uh, then we have uh, had many uh, educational material that we have produced and among them we have a training manual for medical officers and for clinical officers which we are proud to say has been accepted by the global campaign against epilepsy and is adopted by them to be for worldwide distribution. Currently, it is going undergoing some revision before it is released again and translated into several languages. Um, we, so far, we have trained more than 2,000 uh, uh, medical personnel plus community health workers, and uh, we have helped in uh, opening about 15 clinics which we support. Of course, we can't run all of them, we're short of staff, but we provide our expertise. Uh, we also help in uh, uh, formation of support groups who can then uh, continue our work in the, in the community at the grassroots levels. Uh, we, in the past, when we had enough, a lot of funding, we had almost 15 clinics around the country. We had, these clinics were devolved and passed on, the patients passed on to the nearest health facility, uh, mission, run by mission 
missionaries or church organizations or by the public health sector. And we have only remained with three clinics in Nairobi. And, uh, and these clinics are still running and we keep, still continue supervising them and supporting them from Nairobi. Next. Unfortunately, there are many challenges that are experienced within Kenya as well as uh, the rest of Africa. And they, these are again the issue of uh, uh, the traditional beliefs and attitude towards uh, epilepsy, which I referred to earlier. There is this issue of so social stigma, negative prejudices. And we have a huge treatment gap as a result of these social problems. The treatment gap is estimated in Kenya to be more than 80%. Uh, what it means really is that out of uh, the patients we, which we estimated in Kenya to be about 800,000 pa patients who suffer from epilepsy, 80% of these patients do not get treatment at all or do not get adequate treatment. It is a frightening figure. So our, our efforts should be towards reducing this treatment gap and Kawe has shown that it can be done in an affordable way. And uh, first of course by trying to reduce ignorance because the social stigmas and all these negative feelings about epilepsy are purely out of lack of knowledge, lack of uh, understanding of the disease. Once you help them understand the disease, people learn to accept. So we are, uh, our work has been directed towards that and I think we have achieved uh, quite a lot. Of course the government uh, has its own priorities uh, dealing with primary uh, health issues and uh, epilepsy is not among the top priorities. So as an NGO, we are trying to encourage the government also not to neglect the epilepsy because a million people is not a small number of people. Uh, uh, so we are in helping them and uh, of course pressurizing them to train people, to provide better care and also to make sure they have provide all the drugs even the basic cheap drugs at every clinic so that people with epilepsy do not have to come to the city just looking for medicines. And most of them do not have that money even to buy the drugs or even to travel to centers beyond their home areas. So, and of course there is always a problem of uh, compliance, of the taking medication, epilepsy is a disease where you need to take your drugs regularly to keep in control. But some patients, for various reasons, do not continue taking drugs. It's maybe because they cannot afford to buy drugs. Maybe they don't understand why they have to take drugs for such a long time. And several other social issues may prevent them from taking drugs. And of course, uh, NGOs like ours need donor support to continue our work because we have no other source of income and uh, we don't have enough resources to look after all the people with epilepsy. So uh, we try our best to influence government policy to help look after these patients. And obviously donors uh, cannot continue supporting you forever because this disease is not something you can treat and forget about. Uh, so that is what we call the donor fatigue. In fact, Kawe at this point is experiencing practically 60-70% uh, reduction in funding right now and we have tailored our activities and reduced our activities and our staff because of now lack of funding but we'll continue working as long as we get some help. So 
Has Kawe made any contribution over the 30 years that it has been in existence? I believe so. Uh, we, have, we are known countrywide now that we are now the experts in epilepsy and people believe in us because we have shown that we can treat patients and quite cheaply and people are beginning to understand epilepsy in the areas that we have worked in. And uh, we hope in the future the government will take over our function when we run out of funds, but we can only make a small contribution at the time. And uh, we pray for people with epilepsy and we hope in the future we'll be able to reduce the treatment gap. Thank you very much.